Good morning, Cole here. I'm just gonna work on some canned sockeye. I'm gonna make some fish sandwiches. These were um, jarred last summer, so we're gonna try to use some of them up. I just thought I'd video some of it. Um, there's a different um, there's different ways of how some people like to um, make their salmon sandwiches. Some people um, like to dress it up. Some people um, like the plain Jane and I'm plain Jane. I mostly just like to use um, real mayonnaise and the salmon itself. I'll mixture it, but I've seen people um, uh, use cream cheese and some dill pickle, mustard, um, which is all very good. Everybody has their own way, but I just prefer like the salmon itself. And I'm basically just taking the skin off of the salmon that was jarred in there. And usually when we um, jar them, we try to put the the skin side in so then we don't have to scrape the jar because the skin will stick to the jar which is like fine but it's just easier to clean your jars once you're done using them because we do we do um, sterilize them again and reuse them and then we just buy new um, new lids for them so this is gonna be our lunch today um, we're doing we're doing boat a boat run today on the Nass River, and then um, we're having dinner for my mom today. So I'm just gonna make some lunch for her and drop it off, and then head up to the office. Um, and then you also take out some of the bones that are in there. The bones are soft; they could be left in there. Some people just like to take them out and. I like to take them out. Let's see this part has lots of bones on them. Some more of the skin there. And then I just mix the, um, the mayo, the mayo in with the salmon, and then that's about, that's about it. And then just, I don't put anything on my, my bread either. Like I said, some people use mustard, some people use um, cream cheese, I just like to use mayo. And a little bit of um, dill, they put dill in there. Um, they just like to experiment with it. And it all tastes delicious, like I've tried the um, salmon and cream cheese. and the dill with the mayo and mustard, super delish. I left some bones in there, it's okay. And it's just to your liking whether or not you really like um, creamy salmon or it's just however your preference on what you want with this mixture but I like to taste the salmon but you kind of don't want it like too too dry it's a little bit dry so I put more in there Put 
This is one of our main staple. And we also have it um, with, we fry it up a bit with some bacon and celery and then we put that on top of some, some rice or quinoa or couscous, whatever you prefer. And then we also have it with seaweed. So I'm just gonna make a sandwich. Like I said, some people, like I'm making this, not, this one's not for me, but when I make my own, I don't prefer anything on the bread, just plain jean. So there you have it, Nass sockeye salmon, um, you could use better bread, this is just what I have on hand right now, but I like to use um, croissants and Dave's Killer bread, that's a really good bread, and then I usually just have it with some pickles and some cucumbers on the side, but hopefully you'll get to try some sockeye salmon one day.